What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar with Caesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about Jesus Coin. I just wanted to do another little update on this thing because I feel like it's important to stay um, with it as we're doing this, right? Yesterday, I made a video talking about how I, how I believe that we were going to continue to consolidate. We're probably in a consolidation phase right now for Jesus Coin, um, a very short-lived consolidation phase, but but a consolidation phase nonetheless. I do very much think the prices will continue to grow. We will see new all-time highs from here. I don't believe that this is the end of it, um, but you know it could be. It's possible that it could be. For anybody that thinks the difference between arrogance and confidence, right? An arrogant person would think that that can't be the top. A confident person, I'm pretty confident that that won't be the top. But can't and won't are different. Won't leaves the the impression that this could be. It absolutely could be the top. You know, um, don't be arrogant enough to believe that that's not the top. Yes, we are a ways away from the burn. Um, yes, you know, I, I would believe that we would continue to grow, that this is just like a little bit of a pullback based on unchecked growth. Um, I would think that we would top off at least with like some kind of bearish divergence where we have a lower high in the RSI, but a higher high in the price, something like that. Um, and I, I very much just wouldn't expect that we would top off, let's see, literally on this, the first day or the second day of December, um, whenever we have like the whole month to go before this news driven event is is taking place. And, you know, on that note, before I get into the TA too much more actually, um, I know a lot of people are talking about like, so what's the big deal about the burn? It doesn't make any sense. Like why, why is it such a big deal? Aren't those coins already out of circulation? Why is it a big deal? Well, for one, for, for like the most important reason why it's a big deal is because there are coins out there and locked up in a wallet or not, out of the circulation or not, there are coins that exist on the blockchain that uh, you know, if if somehow they were released or gained access to, that would you know that would dilute the supply a lot. That would that would lower or that that would yeah that dilute the supply a lot. That could be some trouble for people. So deleting those coins, burning those coins, it secures it locks in this circulating supply for what it is. Now again, I hear what you're saying on a fundamental perspective from like a very real perspective you guys. The amount of coins that's in the uh, Jesus coin ecosystem, it's not going to change. The market cap's not going to change after the burn. I mean, it might change, you know, based on speculation and price going up, but like nothing on a fundamental level is going to change. We're going to be left with the same amount of coins that we have access to now. Um but the main thing beyond all that, the main thing that's important about it for all the people who are like, so what? You know, they're already locked out. They're already taken out of circulation. The main thing is the hype. It's the hype. It's just a simple hype around it, man. It's a big, it's a, it's a, it's an event for people to get behind. Um, and with that, you know, hype is like one of the most powerful things to pump the price. I don't care if from like a fundamental level, if it doesn't like matter too, too much. Like it's, it is rallying people, man. People are getting excited about it. And that is, you can get excited for for silly things and still be excited and and it'll still drive the price up and that's that's why they say buy the hype sell the news because the hype is that this burn is going to be really good for the price of Jesus coin and i think that that's true i think that the hype is going to be good but the burn itself is not going to be um necessarily like good for Jesus coin it's it's good to a certain degree again because then you don't have all those coins out there in the ether they're burned they're gone forever sure um no possibility of some kind of way of somebody having access to them, though I don't think there is a possibility of that even now. But, but uh, before I lose my train of thought, um, they say buy the hype, sell the news, because oftentimes when the news happens, it delivers under like it's sub expectation levels, right? And I think that's exactly what we're going to see. I do think you know all the more reason why I think that when the burn date happens, which is the 25th, it's all the way out over here, right? I do think that we will see a dramatic drop. I do. I very much do. Why? Because because fundamentally speaking, it doesn't really change a whole lot. You guys are right, right? Like it's not going to change a whole lot. And I'm not trying to burn anybody's ears. I don't want to make them say like, la, 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 Cesar, I'm not listening to you. Like, guys, this is, this, let's just be honest with ourselves. Let's be true, right? And I, I very much think that that's why the price is going to drop. Now, I, I know that I have a lot of Jesus Coin holders that watch this channel, but the amount of, of holders that are in the whole Jesus coin ecosystem that watch this video, it's not a significant amount. Okay. It's not a significant amount. Me telling you guys, this is not going to break the system. I'm sure a lot of people already know this anyways. It's just like, really think about it, right? Buy the hype, sell the news for a reason, because the hype always over projects what the news is actually going to deliver. When we get the news, it's still going to be decent news. It's going to be a big event. Sure. 
but the price will probably react accordingly because it's not that we don't have anything going for it. It's not that Jesus Coin doesn't have anything going for it after that. I think it's got the potential for a very, uh, very good bull run, but the immediate hype around it will go will go down. We'll probably see some kind of consolidation, some more like grand consolidation like we did here where we from May, late May until September. So May, June, July, August, September, four months, we just went sideways and down, right? And then we finally started to come back up. Um, we might see that, right? Because that would make sense to me, man. We, we do that. December 25th rolls around something like this toward the end of the month. And then for four months, we just kind of are in a lull. Well, what happens four months after that burn date? We've got the Bitcoin halving going on. One of the most bullish events in crypto where a lot of cryptos are going to be doing who knows what. They might be being stagnant. They might be popping off. They might be going lower. Probably not most of them. But, uh, you know, sometime around the halving, if not even sometime after the halving, we could see this thing starting to take off again. And that's why I very much think that it's it's good to take profits, but it's also good to have a moon bag just in case we continue to grow. Because again, even though I, I personally am expecting guys that on the 25th, we're going to see a way more massive sell-off than, than we see today. It might not be all in one day that we see a massive sell-off, but over time, I think that we will. Even though I'm thinking that, I'm not going to sell all my Jesus coins. You know, at least at the moment, that's that's my thought is I'm not going to sell all of them because we could continue to grow after that. There are times where you buy the hype and then you sell the news and it was a bad time to sell the news and it, it keeps going anyways. You know, that that absolutely could happen. So, um, and Jesus coin does have a lot more going for it than the burn. You know, there's, there's a lot of hype all around it. Everybody in the community is jacked up on it. It's got a lot of natural growth. It's not on any big exchanges yet. Okay. There are, it's still, if, if any exchange was to scoop it up, right? Because it's not, it's not on any exchange. We go, we go to trading view right now, type in Jesus. It's only on Poloniex. It's only on Poloniex and decentralized exchanges, Bitmart, whatever the hell Bitmart is. Oh, that's Raptor Jesus. That's not even the, the true Jesus. Um, like what does Jesus coin have going for it? What's it have going for it? It's not on any major exchange and it has a huge community. It's seen a lot of growth. If an exchange were to scoop this up, that would be what it has going for it, right? More exposure, someone who's buying up all these tokens, pumping our bags so that they can list it on their exchange. Um, and it's got all that potential, right? It's got a lot more. Um, it's literally on no exchange other than Poloniex. So the world is our oyster, and we don't have to get on Binance. We don't have to get on Coinbase for it to see some uh, miraculous growth. You know, there are plenty of small exchanges in this ecosystem that that maybe right now, maybe on this dip right here, they're scooping some up. You know, uh, so let's get back to the TA. I know I've been talking for a little bit here, but let's let's actually get back to the TA. Uh, I just wanted to go over why I think that selling the burn, taking profits is probably going to be a smart move. Again, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but that's what I plan on doing. I'll let you guys know if that changes. I will let you know whenever I sell as well, just as I've let you know every time that I make a purchase. Um, but I also think that Jesus coin has a lot more going for it than just the burn. There's a lot of people who are under the impression that after the burn, it's going to be nothing. Um, I think after the burn, it's going to see some consolidation. It's going to pull back. Sure. Um, but I, I don't think that wherever we top off this month, I don't think that's going to be the end of it for this cycle. We still have a whole bull cycle ahead. So um, it's got a lot more going for it than just the burn, I promise you guys. But anyways, looking at this here again, we could pull back. We could pull back in the R side to the 50, find support there, and then maybe continue to go higher. Um, we absolutely could bounce from this area. We kind of are at the 60. It's an area that we found resistance before twice, right? Maybe we find support this time and continue to go up. Just because we were overbought and went to the 50 both of these times doesn't mean that we have to this time, right? Um, this could leave, in fact, people who are watching this who might be aware of this could leave the, the idea that there are lower prices to come so that they can buy cheaper. So they're holding holding out on buying. They want to buy, but they're like, no, I'm going to wait until it's down here. And then price continues to go up and then they're forced to buy higher. And that just drives price to go up even more, right? FOMO. Um, <clears throat> one way or another though, guys, I, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we did actually end up going to the 50 in this RSI. That's personally my, my perspective right now. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we remain somewhat stagnant or unexciting like day after day for the next week or so, week to week and a half, something like that. And then from there, we can talk about it going up with as short of a time as maybe, maybe by the end of this week, we start to climb again, maybe. But uh, I'm, I'm definitely not expecting that we're going to move up 
anytime soon, like anytime like today or tomorrow. This four hour RSI looks very sad. Very, very sad. So strong for so long. Looks like a crown, right? This is the crown of whatever's itself, the crown of the RSI. But now we're now instead of bouncing off of this 50, we are rejecting the 50 to the downside. Um, so I would think that we see this oversold zone at some point. We did hold the 40. This is a very bullish look, but we didn't get the follow through that we needed. <clears throat> now we're holding the 50, very bearish look. We might get the follow through for the bears, get below that 40, and then potentially even get into that oversold zone. That would drive prices lower than they are now by quite a bit. Um, we absolutely could see prices that are below this line here. That'd probably be a prime buying opportunity if we did. I doubt we see uh, prices below this line here. And don't don't get caught waiting. If you want to buy Jesus Coin, don't get caught waiting for this area because we we might also form a higher low, and it might it might not go below this low here, this closing four hour low. Okay, it just depends on how much um, interest in accumulating this thing that there is. There might be, you guys. I know I know I mentioned it earlier. I wasn't joking. Like there literally might be exchanges right now who are buying this dip. Okay. It's it's a hype coin. It's a coin that a lot of people, you know, like have a lot of faith in. There, there are people who like are tribal about this thing and like really care about seeing its growth. Exchanges see that they, you know, they don't care if they believe in the project or not. They just care if you believe in it. And if you're going to buy it from them, and they see that there's not a lot of exchanges holding this, there might be some exchanges right now buying this dip. You guys, there absolutely might be. So. Um, I'm not selling my coins, man, one way or another. It's the same old, same old. I'm not selling my coins. I don't care what the price does until the uh, until the burn, until the 25th. I'm not selling my coins because I very much do believe that we have more to go. Um, and if we don't, I would expect that this RSI forms some kind of bearish divergence before then. And we would at least have a little bit more of a, of a telling in the charts to kind of guide us. But... You don't need bearish divergence to turn around, man. You really don't, but but I, I would expect that. I personally would expect that. So I don't know if I have anything else to say. I feel like this video has gone on long enough. I've drawn on long enough. Um, let's look at the one hour, I suppose. Yeah, the one hour looks like ass. The four hour looks pretty bad too. It's See, like it's bad, but you're not really getting oversold. You're rejecting this area, but you're kind of neutral with a bearish tilt. I still would expect that you go lower from here. I say that as we're going up. I mean, maybe maybe we do continue to go up. Because the thing is, too, you guys, I do think there is a lot of interest in this thing. I personally do think it's going down a little bit lower. Um, I, again, I don't think it's going lower than this low, but from, from where it is now, I think we could see like below 2.7, below where I bought. Um, but we might not because I think that there are a lot of people who are emotional right now. I think there are a lot of people who are like, like, damn it, I wish I sold up here. And then then they sell at whatever price and then it goes up and they're like, damn it, maybe I should buy back in. And that can like send buy pressure up, you know. I think there are a lot of emotional people right now that are waiting to buy. And when you have people who are waiting to buy and price grows, they're going to stop waiting. They're going to feel the FOMO. They're going to get in. And then there's going to be more people who, who are waiting who are going to feel the FOMO. And it just, you know, it's this, it's this fuel to the fire Um Someone said before I before I go, man. I know this video has been all over the place, but but before I go, someone was saying that uh, you know people are scared now, right? After this pullback, they're scared. I don't know how much Jesus Coin you guys hold, and I'm not, I'm not trying to brag here, right? I don't think anybody should be bragging about how much Jesus Coin they hold, unless you're the top dog. Who are you? I want to know who are you, Mister Four Point Five. Um, for those of you that don't know who are watching this also, this is the wallet that all the coins are locked. That's not a person. That's that's a contract. It's on the ether. It's Nobody has uh, the ability to take those coins out. Those are the coins that are going to be burned. But uh, And I feel like most people know that. But just, just in case someone doesn't know that. Um, yeah, there might be fear. People might We might get up here and there might be selling pressure. Sure. Um, but I also think that if we're moving up, there's going to be people who are wanting to buy down here who if we're moving up they're like shit I don't want to I don't want to miss the chance to buy before it goes to new all-time highs I'm going to FOMO and buy I think I think if there's emotion it plays both ways there's going to be emotional people buying and selling um, I'm definitely not taking profits up here the only way that I would take profits up here is if it was like the 20th and we were still or maybe like the 20 yeah like the 20th to the 25th somewhere in that range and we still have yet to break out to new all-time highs but I'll let you guys know what I'm doing I'm not going to uh, I might sell before I make a video, but if I sell, I will I will try to uh, I'll put it on my X account. You can follow me on X. Um, 
at Chris Harris 85. I will put it out the second I the second I sell it. I will literally put it out. I'll put it out even before I sell it. I will say I am selling now and I'll give it like five minutes and then sell. Unless it's like at a very unless it's like literally reaching for all time highs and I want to catch the top, I will I will probably just sell it first. But um, uh, what am I trying to say here? I'll try to post a video as soon as I sell as well. Um, not that it matters. I'm not holding. I'm not holding a large portion of Jesus coin. I'm sure I'm holding more than most people are, but I'm not scared, man. The back to the back to the whole point. This guy was like, people are afraid now. I'm not afraid. I don't care. I've literally been saying the whole time. I don't care what price does. I'm I am fearless until the burn, until the burn, and then I believe the reckoning will come. But man, this has been a long drawn out video of me just saying the same old, same old. So if you like the video, hit that like button, you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. I'm not worried. I think we're at a prime buy the dip opportunity for anybody that wants to buy. Buying here, probably not a bad thing. Um, but again, guys, don't bet the farm on this. This isn't something that you should bet the farm on. You should uh, only put money in that you're okay with losing, right? And if you want to bet the farm, go for it. That's not financial advice, but I don't know, man. It's we're already pretty high right now, right? So, so putting in little nibbles up here for some extra fun money if it goes up, that that's really what you should be looking for because we could see some ridiculous growth. I'll end it with this. I'll end it with a positive note because people people often ask me, and I've said it a few times, but people often ask me where I think the price is going to be by uh, by the burn date. From top to bottom here, we've got our fibs. We hit the minimum. Uh, expected zones, right? We hit the 1414 and the 1272. Hit them both. I would think that if and when we get above this 1272, that it's on to this 1618, which is five zeros, 1092. Okay? From the current price, that would be another 245% growth. If it doesn't go there, if we see new highs and it doesn't go there, that means it's only going to go higher, right? I very much would not expect that we stop somewhere in between. We could, it's possible, but I would think that we would at least see this 1618, the golden extension. It's completely possible that we could see prices all the way up at the deep extensions at the 1786, even the 1886, and I've seen some cryptos hit their their 200 level, so we we could even go up there. Um, but much higher than that, I don't know. There's some people that are that are calling for like the four zeros. Uh, to, to be taken out. I don't I don't think we're going to see that, man. I personally don't think we're going to see that. Um, I think it'll be a feat in itself to get to that 5-0 line, but I definitely, one way or another, I would expect that we get higher than this. And the fact that that was at the 1414, the 1618 is like the only next logical area to find resistance at. So um, that's that's where I'm thinking we're going to be. Five zeros, we're going to hit that 5-0 mark. Psychological level of resistance, probably turn around from there. Um, and for anybody who's like, man, don't be telling people this. They're gonna, they're gonna front run you. They're gonna sell. No, you're not. No, you're not. If you're gonna sell, you're gonna sell when you want to sell, right? You shouldn't be selling off of what I'm telling you to do. I'm not telling you to do anything. Um, I know plenty of people who hear my videos and they still tell me I'm holding through the burn. I'm not selling. I don't think that's wise, guys. I think that you should take profits, but it's not my money. It's your money. You do what you want with it. Watch. Watch this thing just continue to grow after the burn, and everybody who's expecting that the price will drop after the burn, myself included, is wrong. You know that's why you hold a moon, that's why you hold a moon bag. You don't sell everything. But uh, I digest. So with that, I leave you. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. I think we consolidate now. It's probably going to be a very boring week for Jesus Coin. Moments of excitement, moments of disheartenment, moments of excitement, moments of disheartenment, and then we'll probably go up um, more or less sideways. Though in the immediate term, probably today, I would bet we're going down. I would think we're going down. So that's all I got. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye.